Howdy, everybody. Welcome to wing tip video number two. Um, and I'm basically working on the same thing from the last video, just continuing on from that point. You can see the one I was working on in the last video. It's over on the other um, table. And so now I'm working on this one. And I don't know if you could tell, they're, they're a little bit different colors, right? So the one on the other one is a darker gray than this guy. Um, and the other one was a much better quality wingtip. So my guess is they were manufactured differently or made differently or made in two different places. I'm not sure, but they were different, just so you know. Um, and then what you have to do when you're doing the wing tips is you have to cut off the excess on the edge there. And you look at the designs and the mistake I made was looking at that back piece and the back piece actually needs cut a little bit more, not less. So it was kind of odd. Okay, so attaching this thing to the wing not easy, but not hard. Um, the little uh, use a tie down strap trick is pretty, pretty nice. So yeah, the tie down does work um, pretty well. There, the trick to it though is you can't tighten it too much. Um, if you tighten it too much, the um, well, again, with the flimsier version of the wing tips, if you tighten it too much, it kind of buckles the, the fiberglass a little bit and it won't line up right. And then you have all kinds of problems. And you will see that in the end of this video and in the next video, the headache that I had trying to fix that problem. Um, but it does work pretty well. And you kind of put it on the metal part on the bottom and then on the fiberglass part on the top. Or the, I guess it would be the forward edge, it's on the metal, and on the aft edge, it's on the fiberglass. And you just tighten it down, and it forces that front end to be um, really tight into the, the wing, the um, aluminum on the wing. Um, and you drill a couple of holes, make sure it's lined up, and you're good to go. And lining them up is... Uh, I don't even know what to say. It is, it's easy, but it's difficult at the same time because if you're off even by a sixteenth of an inch, an eighth of an inch, you're not your aileron won't be lined up with the edge of the wingtip, and they're supposed to be perfectly lined up. And so, it is rather, it's kind of monotonous and kind of painstaking, and you need to make sure it's lined up. And you kind of have to go side to side because if you do all of the front ones and you haven't done any of the back ones and you've kept the front ones all lined up, when you start doing the back ones, as you pull it in closer to the wing, it might pull the the aft edge of that wing tip out of alignment. And so you got to kind of work back and forth one side and then the other side to get it to line up right. Um, and... I didn't do it right the first time, so just FYI. So, the this has to be lined up with this guy, and I don't know if you can see that. Let's see. Lined up, so the bottom is perfectly flush here. So we, we're pretty good. Got the, everything lined up. Um, I'll remark these now that I got them all in there and it's all lined up nice and pretty. And I got my holes drilled. Now I know I can get it back in there. Now I need to put three sixteenths inch gap down to here. And then draw a line across this guy. And then I'll have my cutouts that I need to do. So that's next. So yeah, that's pretty much as easy as it is. You just put it in there, mark it, line it up, and then when you're off by a sixteenth of an inch, you start over. So that's kind of what I had to do. But while I have you here, I will share a couple of jokes. Um, did you know, I, I'm not sure if you guys know the, this, but it's inappropriate to make a dad joke if you're not a dad. Yeah, it's a faux pas. 
faux pas. <laughs> Even my wife smiles at that one. Oh, that was pretty good. Uh, oh, goodness. Okay, so last one, last joke here. Um, how do you get a good price on a sled? You have to bargain. <laughs> to bargain. Uh, those are two really good jokes. Oh, man. Uh, uh, you gotta love dad jokes. Um, but this is me working on those ends just because uh, you're supposed to have, I think it's three sixteenths of an inch or three eighths of an inch. I forget what it is um, in between the wing tip and the aileron itself. Um, and basically what you want to do is make sure it doesn't get in the way of your control surfaces. That's all you're really doing there. Okay, so a couple of things that I've been working on that I haven't been recording. And my battery's about to die again and I haven't gotten my replacement batteries. But you make do with what you did. Um, I did drill these out and dimple them. That's pretty standard stuff. You shouldn't need to see me drill out and dimple holes. Um, one of the things I am doing differently here though, is I'm going through and putting a screw and these in, because if you saw the last video, um, the last video I did one at a time and I drilled them out. So I would hook one in, I would drill the one, Clico it, drill the other one, and it took forever. Like literally an hour I think is what it took. Um, so I'm trying this, I'm gonna hook all of them in i'm going to go drill one side on all of them i'm going to put a clico in all of them and then drill the other side and see if it goes quicker so that's what i'm doing spoiler alert it was much 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 faster to do it that way um so the in the last video on that other um wing tip i would put the screw in one and i would drill it and then put the Clico in the drilled hole and then drill the other side and then unscrew the screw and then screw it in the next one. Um, what I did is I just went and got, I forget how many are there, like 28 of them or whatever it was. I went and got 28 screws and I just screwed all of them in and then held them with my finger and then drilled one side. And then you'll see me, I go Clico that one side in and then go drill the other side. It was much, much faster um, doing it that way. Um, you will also see at the very, I think it's the very end of this video, it might be in the next video as well, um, that I don't use my little um, metal piece that I had for, to kind of um, countersink those. And, but I'll explain that when I, when I do it in the next video. Um, and then basically all I'm doing here is putting in um, rivets, attaching those nut plates, and you will get to see those finished wingtips in the next video. As always, like and subscribe. Talk to you guys later. See ya. Bye.